Hey, what's good, y'all? My name is Jennifer, but you can call me the Black Kagome. Today, we're about to get into this video called Tendency Insane Attractions You're Better Off Not Knowing About. If it's something you're gonna tell me about and you're gonna say to stay away from it, I'm probably gonna go to it because I'm just, I'm like that. I like, I go against the grain for whatever reason. But without further ado, y'all, we're about to hop into this video, so let's go. Most people like to do at least some traveling, and while for some a day by the pool is the ideal vacation, others like a little more adrenaline and thrill to the mix. If you that's me, that's what I'm saying. The most extreme of rides, then you've come to the right place because today we're going to take a look at some of the most I'm not doing that though. Truthfully, quite terrifying in some cases. I don't do the wild animals exclusively for some of the bravest people around. No man, no man. For those travelers <clears throat> who need to test their nerves, I've got you covered. Here are the world's most brutal tests to the nervous system. Think you can handle them? No, God, please, no, no! Well then, let's, let's see what they out. are. No! CN Tower Edgewalk. For 32 years, the CN Tower oh, Canada? in Canada was the tallest structure on the planet, only surpassed by the colossal Burj Khalifa building in Dubai in 2007. Still, runner-up in this case is still very high up. At the massive radio tower, oh, serious Lord adrenaline Jesus. junkies can take a walk on the wild side with the CN Tower Edgewalk. Go ahead. That's it. He looked like Jason Derulo. Oh, that is Jason Derulo. <laughs> a completely open platform, 1,168 feet in the sky. No guardrails, no falls, just a bungee cord attached to a security rail connecting the visitors to the building and a whole lot of nothing between you and the ground. I don't know about you. Could I do that? I think I could do that. So the CN Tower Edge Walk is It'll make me feel weird, but I could do that. No. no I think I could do that no, no, and be okay. No. Age of death. Anyone now this, I don't know about that. Should head straight mm -mm. to Darwin, Australia, where I assure you, your appetite will be satisfied. However, if you're a little more, uh, how should I say, sane, you'll definitely want to stay as far away from this crazy place down under as possible. Darwin is home to what's known as the Cage of Death, which is certainly an inviting name. In this underwater acrylic enclosure, which forms part of the Crocosaurus Cove Aquarium, visitors can take a dip in a small pool with man-eating crocodiles surrounding you at all times. Australian <laughs> crocodiles can grow to sizes between 15 and 20 <laughs> long and in the cage of death adrenaline junkies can watch these reptilian apex predators feed mm -mm. swim and even snap their massive jaws from an arm's length away the crocodiles sure are shy and often pass by with i don't care smile. to see that and underwater you could probably see their mouths watering at the sight of a tasty human snack visitors go through a brief safety course before taking the big plunge but otherwise as one online review claims all you can do is cower in fear my question is what the hell and pray that the acrylic walls do their job nevis catapult <laughs> I don't care to jumping, do that. Skydiving and zip lining just aren't terrifying enough for you. Oh my. Then you'll enjoy being <laughs> swung out of a medieval siege weapon better. In Nevis Valley in New Zealand, that scary dream can become a reality for those brave enough to attempt it. Here, the Nevis catapult literally slings humans like a cannonball across massive mountain valleys while connected to what I sure hope is a very strong bungee. Oh, cord. wow. Oh, 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 the wow. Launches riders okay. 492 feet up in the air. I don't think I'm brave enough to do that. Faster than 60 miles I don't, per hour. Or I don't as trust as a car it. on the highway in as little as 1.5 seconds. That's about how long it takes to hit that subscribe button, by the way. Here, I'll prove it to you. Give it a shot. Terrifying glass bridge. Those with a fear of heights might want to look away right about uh, now. Welcome to the Grand Canyon. Not the one in America, but the one in China, located in the province of Hunan. <laughs> Here at the Zhangjiajie Grand Canyon, architects and engineers were inspired by the James Cameron movie Avatar and wanted to bring a little Pandora to Earth by building the largest fully glass bottom bridge the planet has ever that seen. That is so this cool. Now, I would love to walk across that bridge. Of 980 feet, with That's the so of the cool. Bridge, which lies between you and certain doom, consisting That's of crazy, transparent though. plates made of three layer glass the bridge has already claimed 10 world records and is sure to attract wilder and wilder ones once the massive adrenaline junkie community can get their hands on it or maybe their feet off it is more appropriate if you do happen to be one of the brave individuals who thinks they can take on crossing this insane bridge just remember don't look down like seriously it's terrifying mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. velocity Wales isn't exactly a place most people think of as thrilling, but what if I were to tell you that Wales is home to one of the craziest and most extreme attractions in the world? Enter the Velocity 2 zipline, also known as the fastest zipline on Earth. This specially positioned zipline was designed with speed in mind, accelerating those brave enough to ride it from 0 to 60 miles that per looks hour so in just so and it doesn't stop there. The steep, rideable wire zooms guests along its length at up to 125 miles per hour, which, for reference, is the legal speed limit for trains in all of England. If you manage to keep your eyes open during the trip, the crown way below will look that like looks really fun. And the wind in your ears I would probably do something like that. How loud your heart is beating from all the adrenaline. The tilt. 
Do you ever get that feeling when you look <coughs> out a window in a tall building? Well, multiply that by a thousand, and you might have an idea of what the tilt in Chicago's John Hancock building is all about. Oh, hell no. This truly unique attraction actually manages I to make I was in Chicago. The tilt is an eight station hydraulic experience where visitors are placed in a do that? tilted window overlooking Chicago from 1,128 feet in the sky. While the see through glass does provide a majestic view of the Windy City, sometimes letting people see as far as 50 miles away, the feeling of awe quickly turns to terror as they crank up I'm the I'm literally like an hour away from Chicago. Towards the ground, slowly at first, giving a slightly better view of the ground all the way down. Thankfully, there are handrails along the Wait, side. Maybe which two hours. Understandably, tend to grip very firmly on the final tilt. Still, since the Chicago skyline from a flat perspective is just fine by me. Macau Tower Bungee <laughs> Jump. Bungee jumping is an extreme sport that has quickly taken the world by storm, with jumping spots being started up all over the world. Now, while bungee jumping itself is an extreme sport, oh. there are some who want to take it to the next level. And those are the people who go to the Macau Tower Jump, the tallest bungee jump in the <coughs> entire world, which is a staggering 764 feet in the sky. A jump I don't know about all that. Is quite an extreme and I don't know about all that. Will set you back around a thousand dollars. However, those who love the thrill would do anything for an adrenaline rush. While we're assured that the bungee cord has the strength to hold up 2.2 tons, or about the weight of an elephant, there's always that thought in the back of your mind when jumping head first off a tower. Ladder to heaven. Nah, I'm Australia good. Australia is home to some incredible <laughs> you can keep that. mountains, attracting thousands of adventurous climbers and hikers every year. However, sometimes certain sections of the mountains aren't able to be scaled by hand, making reaching mountain peaks impossible for all but the most gifted climbers. That's where Via Ferratas come in. These wire staircases connect parts of trails that would be otherwise impossible. But don't be fooled. That doesn't mean <coughs> it makes it easy. The Ladder to Heaven, located in Donnerkogel in Australia, is one such via ferrata with a very high difficulty level. And that's not the only thing. Oh, this no. Oh, God. 2,300 feet above oh, the ground. Oh, that just gave me chills. I don't know why. Impassable gorge. The Ladder to Heaven is a whopping 140 feet long. And once you start climbing, there's no turning back. Meaning if you even step on the first rung, you've got to crawl along the entire 140 feet. Was that necessary? Really? Directly below. What is wrong Unless with people? Heights, maybe a different hobby your mountain would be better. Zero gravity plane. Many people dream of going into space, but so far only about 536 humans have had the honor of experiencing weightlessness from outside the Earth's atmosphere. Thankfully for those of us who haven't undergone crazy astronaut training though, companies like Zero G have begun offering what are known as weightless flights, where passengers can experience zero G without needing to invent their own rockets. That's These specialized so cool. plane rides are carefully flown at just the right angles to create short bursts of weightlessness. Oh my god. The cabin, of acrobatic stunts, I wanna do that. Astronauts must feel all the time. The industry is relatively new, but several companies and groups have used these planes for cool marketing campaigns and high budget projects like one band who shot a music video while doing weightless tricks in one of these planes a stunt which took over a year of practice to get right and with the lowest price for tickets to this space flight being around four thousand dollars that's one video you really can't afford to mess up dubai x line Oh, Dubai wow. is known for its luxurious <coughs> lifestyle, expensive cars, and tremendous skyline. Of course, where there are skyscrapers, the daredevils will follow. And Dubai's extravagance makes the thrills you can find in this city truly extreme. The Dubai X Line is a colossal and extremely fast zip line, allowing adrenaline fanatics to fly like a superhero over the marina district of Dubai. The X Line zips users a distance of over 3,200 feet, with their feet dangling 550 feet above the ground and sea below. Uh, 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 no, 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 Hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shout outs we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. I know I said that I would like do some of these, but I think once I'm like right in front of it, you know, like once it's time for me to like actually do it, I will probably chicken out. Like, I, I'm gonna stick to roller coasters. That's my thing. That's where I get my thrill. You know what I'm saying? That's where I get my adrenaline going. But all this skydiving and t and and no climbing up mountains on like no no I don't want to do that I'm good I'm Gucci I'll just stick to my roller coasters okay <laughs> all right y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next reaction video bye